All right, we're rolling out here. I saw a news um, story on one of the local station, TV stations here that they're talking about um, people that's out in rural areas that does not have internet. And as I watched the story, they were talking about a certain individual they had a actually, woo, kind of a little bright. Let's see if we can quieten it down a little bit. There we go. Let's see, yeah, there we go. let's see, lock in. All right, a lot, lot better. All right, as I was saying, saw the story and they showed a church. They said, uh, one company, it was five companies that she tried and neither one of them said they were actually able to get her internet. Uh, one or two said not in the service area. One said don't have the lines over there. They can run a line from the church that's across the street for $6,500. i like, okay. And I'm going the wrong way. I said $6,500 to run a line from across the street from a church to get her internet. Okay. Well, that's not doable for her or almost anybody really unless you really desperately need <laughs> internet and let's see some others they didn't say exactly how many but they said another excuse or reason a company said is trees and I'm thinking some wireless company that's in the area I know two or three and around that area, yeah, trees is a uh, problem. And I'm going to go look. Boy, this sun is just killing it. I'm going to leave it open and let it kind of flush away as it wants as sun comes and goes. But there's another way that I know that I possibly get internet there. I looked on FCC's website, overlaid on um, Google Earth, and also another site that I checked for like LTE for T-Mobile, Verizon, all, all the major um, cell phone providers, and find out what towers they are actually on. So I can actually possibly go through that method of actually getting internet in that area. Usually if you have LTE on a tower you can get a modem which I have in the back and be able to tap into that service like a cell phone like Eight, uh, uh, up to reasonably uh, about eight miles away from the tower and still get reasonable good upload and download speeds. After I looked at the maps, it's indicating that there's a cell tower that is, I think it said 1.6, 1.6 seven or something like that just shy of two miles from the area from the church I don't know exactly where her house is but from the Google Maps there's a cluster of houses I would say six or seven across the street diagonally and the other direction there's maybe one so I'm thinking her neighbors it would be that cluster of houses because anything beyond that one house to the right of the church you have to go like a little bit over almost a mile to get to another house and on the left you would have to go at least mile and a half to get to more houses besides that cluster of houses so I'm thinking across the street from the church as they said in the news report 
it's got to be in that area, in that cluster of houses. And according to the map, it says I can get service to that church from that tower. And that's where I'm going right now and check and see what kind of service I can get with the modem through T-Mobile LTE and see if if I can get that and I also got one Verizon as well so I can hook her up with that so I'm gonna go check that I, I try to get everybody possible with internet And it just amazes me, and this is the reason why I really made this video, it, it really amazes me with these big incorporated some internet companies that is just humongous across the whole United States that cannot do something this simple to get internet in a place temporarily or permanently until they get the line in that area to serve them people. It's so easy to be able to get service to these people out in the rural areas. The equipment is there. The technology is there. I have the technology in the back of this car. Just like I saw a video about a guy that on a, a beach in California, I cannot remember the name of the beach, that has roughly two to three hundred residents that had no internet except cell service. And he, I think he said he, he rode around to find out where the tower was and then he kept on calling nobody called back and then about five six months later somebody called back and says what you trying to do out there and he says he don't want to play around or anything he just wants to tap into the line then he got a fiber line to his home in his garage and that's where he distributes out internet for that beach And he tells that a story of another location north or south of him that has a roughly about the same amount of homes and they said it's going to cost millions of dollars and years to be able to get it all done and he did it nowhere near that much money so why not use the technology out there to get something done like that. If they can run fiber lines or, or coax cable and all that on power lines, they can sure put up a tower and be able to do it wirelessly or get up with a company and say, hey, you know, we're going to put up, a, you know, internet here and you can get uh, your service out here and we can provide your line. You know, we're with other companies like us. A WISP company that can distribute it out internet without running lines on poles or dig trenches that takes, you know, manpower and labor, which is the money, millions of dollars, and get people internet. There's no reason for anybody not have internet. Find a good place to tap into, build a backhaul, and shoot it over to a site and give people internet. It's just crazy how this world, with all the technology that we have, things that you can put in your, you know, carry in your hand that 
can give these people internet. I just don't understand why it is not getting done. So I guess companies like me and and a few others, Brent, all and over there in um, Arizona, and of quite a few others, and actually getting internet to people in these rural areas. So I don't I just don't understand why why it's not getting done more than it is. But I'm out heading out there now and see if I can get actually get service or not. And if I can then I'm gonna see if I can get up with the person there we're talking about, talking to on there. I have reached out to the one that wrote up the story on the TV station. Got no reply so far, and that was last night. And I also sent the information to the one that was talking about the story. And also, I sent a message on Twitter to the TV station. No reply. All three. No reply yet. So I'm going to take it upon myself and just head out there. And that noise just then, I do believe, is actually a response from, I do believe, let me see here if it'll let me look at it. That is the one that actually wrote the story. She just sent me a message that says, thank you and I will be in contact with her, which is the one that needs internet. And I'm heading out there now. So at least see, she actually responded. And it's 1021. So, and it's all through Twitter, so I don't know how often they check Twitter for, you know, stories or whatever that is her personal Twitter so she might not check it that often since she's at work but she responded there's progress there's progress as some people say so I'm going to head out there I probably got uh, probably a good 20 minute drive and I'll let you know what the outcome of this story is if we can get them internet or not. She said, what boggles me is her neighbors can get, the story said, her neighbors can get reliable internet. What that means, I don't know. Is it satellite? Which she would be able to get satellite because, you know, pretty much satellite is almost anywhere in the United States if you want to pay that kind of money. But, then again, it it, the story did say she has three kids that is remote learning online. So I don't know. Um, what reliable service her neighbors has that she cannot get, but I'm going to find out some way or another. At least I got a response from the one that wrote the story on the TV station. She says she's going to contact her, and I gave them the um, the studio line, which is the business line for that, for the WISP, where they can text or call and leave a voicemail. And I'll get an email on my phone if they do, either way. So I'm going to go out there and see if I can get internet in that area. It, it, I just don't understand why that, you know, with all the technology and the big companies and everything, the money they spend and can't get people internet. Very simple. I guess that's just going to keep people that run WISP businesses 
in business, which is fine by me. So I'll see you after I get out there and survey the area and see what I come up with. Until then, see ya. Well, I've done a survey and seems that the FCC overlay and the other sites that I use was 100% correct. I went to the location where um, I thought the house that was they were talking about in that area and I went to the church parking lot and tested the system and I was getting somewhere between 20 and 25 down and somewhere between 2 and 5 up and that is with the modem sitting in the back of the vehicle with the tarp pulled over plugged in so if I take it out so it really can pick up or put a external antenna it'll probably get good probably 40 50 down and probably 10 to 15 up with no issue and I do believe uh, from the looks of things I got the right house just what I saw actually in the report and stuff I do believe I got the right house but I'm just waiting for the one that wrote the report on the TV station to get back up with me she says she will relay the message to the one they, uh, that needs internet. And hopefully she'll be calling. I can ride back out, talk to her, and hopefully be able to get her set up. But I was a little bit hungry, so I stopped by on the way back home, which I got down here on the floorboard two hot dogs with mustard, chili, and onion. Good old one of them uh, mama pop shops uh, hole in the wall places that you know, the doctor probably say the food is not good for you because you know, the way they cook it and whatnot. but it's the best freaking tasting food that you can find anywhere yeah, well I had to get me some hot dogs go home, sit back wait for a phone call, text message, email, whatever it may be, and hope and pray that she'll get up with us and we'd be able to get her internet. We would have to order some equipment to be able to do it, but school is basically just starting last month, a week or two ago, so it's not like it's, you know, um, almost over or even half it really basically really hadn't even started so hopefully we can get her online and um, get her some internet so she don't have to use her hotspot on her phone because she can only tie in one device at a time even though it's 5G she says but still, only one device, and she's got three kids, and most likely all three of them need to be online at the same time. So, hopefully, it will work. But I'm heading home, eat me some hot dogs, and hopefully we get a call. And there's some other places I need to go, and I don't know exactly how to drive to get there. So I'm going to tie my phone to my GPS in the vehicle so I can put in the address and find the location and let it tell me where I got to go to get there. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.